Hi everyone, my name is Jordan and today I'm going to be talking about hosting our packages on GitHub. So why host on GitHub? One of the main advantages is that this gives people from all over the world quick and easy access to your code. Rather than having to dig through all your files and trying to figure out what each part is doing, people can easily go into our studio, install your package, and use your functions. So to follow along with this tutorial, you're just going to need a GitHub account as well as have our studio installed on your laptop. Um, for this demonstration, I'm going to go through a very simple example, and I will be creating a package called greet r, which is going to have one function called say hello. That's just going to print hello and then the person's name to the console. So now on to the coding demonstration. So once you have R Studio open, the first thing you're going to want to do is create a new project. So we're going to go to File, New Project, New Directory, R Package, and then name your package and then choose where you want it saved and then create project. So once it's created, you'll notice that R um, kind of gives you the skeleton for your project. So it does include some sample files. The first thing we're gonna do is delete those. You're gonna go in the R folder and delete the hello.r file, and then go in the man folder and delete the corresponding documentation file for the hello function. And now we're ready to actually start building our package. So. You're going to first want to update the description and enter your own information. So I'm just going to paste mine in for time saving purposes and then make sure you click save. Okay, so now that we have the package all set up, we can start actually adding functions to it. Um, so anytime we want to add a new function to our package, we just want to go and create a new R script and we can define our function. So let's say we want to have a say hello function that takes one parameter called name um, and pastes it together to create a greeting and then it just prints that greeting. So once you have your function defined, you can just click save and name your file and then make sure you save it in the R folder of your package directory. And then you can verify that it's there by looking in your R folder. So once you have your function all completed, you can also add documentation for it. So this actually goes in the man folder. So to add documentation, you just go to new file and then go down to RO documentation. You're gonna at the topic and then it's going to give you some boilerplate. So I'm just going to paste in my information for time saving purposes. Um, but you essentially just want the name, um, the title, a description, um, an example way to use it, and then um, a description of the arguments and you can include your, your name. Um, click preview on save and then you need to save it of course and make sure it is in the man folder of your um, package directory and click save. And now you can see this is how it's going to show up to the user if they to help on your say hello function. So once we have our package all set up, we can upload it to GitHub. So we're gonna go to create a new repository and then you're gonna name your repository um, and then click create repository. And once it's created, we can just upload existing files. You could also do this in the terminal, but for now we can just do it here. So you can just drag all your files here and once they finish uploading, you can just commit the changes and now you will see them all in your repository and they'll be ready for um, people to pull from and use. So now that we have our package all uploaded to GitHub, we can actually install it and now use the functions on any machine. So first you're going to want to install the package using install GitHub from the DevTools package. Um, and mine's skipping because I already have it installed. Then you're going to go ahead and load in the package and then we can test our function. So I'm going to test the say hello function with my name. So we can see it does what we expect. It prints out hello Jordan to the console. And lastly, we can view the documentation that we created. So if we run that, we can see that our documentation pops up here so the user can get ideas on how to use the function and what its purpose is. So hopefully that was helpful and I hope you learned something that will be useful to help you get started with creating your own R packages on GitHub. Thank you.